and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reached Bandipur and is currently taking a safari at Bandipur Tiger Reserve in Karnataka where he will be interacting with the frontline field staff and help groups involved in conservation activities. He will also release latest Tiger Census and government's vision for Tiger Conservation. Now, this move will commemorate the completion of the 50th anniversary of Project Tiger. This will also include the release of a document evaluating the efficient management of Tiger Reserves. PM Modi will also launch a commemorative Rs 50 coin in honour of the Project Tiger. Now, remember India launched Project Tiger in 1973 in a bid to conserve and revive the dwindling tiger population. Now, in a roaring success, India is home to 70% of the total tiger population in the world. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is currently taking a safari at Bandipur Tiger Reserve and he will also be interacting with the frontline field staff and help groups involved in conservation activities. Uh, Prime Minister Modi will also release latest Tiger Census and government's vision for Tiger Conservation. Now, this move will commemorate the completion of the 50th anniversary of Project Tiger. Remember, India launched Project Tiger in 1973 in a bid to conserve and revive the dwindling tiger population. And now, in a roaring success, India is home to 70% of the total tiger population in the world. Now, today marks the 50th anniversary of Project Tiger and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is currently taking a safari at Bandipur Tiger Reserve. Our political editor, Maria Shakil is joining us. Maria, what is the plan uh, for uh, Narendra Modi? Currently, he is taking uh, safari at Bandipur National uh, Park. But what after that? Yes, yeah, so he's scheduled to interact with uh, the frontline field staff and self-help groups uh, which are involved in conservation activities. Uh, the Tiger Reserve, as he said, is located partly um, in the uh, Taluk district uh, of uh, Gandhuluk, Gamblepit and the other part is uh, is in uh, you know as 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 uh, uh, it's Bandipur and Madhumalai combined and we are looking at those visuals that are coming in and according to the forest department the national park was formed by including most of the uh, forest areas of the then uh, then Gopala uh, Wildlife Park uh, which was established uh, under the government notification which was dated 1941 in fact. In February, uh, February, to be specific, uh, February 19th, and it is spread over uh, 874 square uh, kilometers, and it is uh, named as Bandipur National Park. And uh, this uh, reserve was brought under Project Tiger in 1973. Uh, but under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, government, there has been a special focus, particularly in ensuring that when it comes to uh, you know conservation of wildlife animals. There is a special focus on it, and uh, because it is uh, in, uh, 50 years of Project Tiger, we are seeing this. Uh, the interaction with uh, with uh, with uh, those who have who are involved in uh, preserving them and conserving them becomes important. Uh, and and uh, remember, in 2019, Prime Minister had called for an alliance of uh, uh, global leaders to uh, to really. Uh, ensure that uh, the, there is a curb on poaching and illegal uh, wildlife trade in Asia. And uh, that project, uh, that that message, we had seen how we had carried forward this entire, you know, uh, Save Tiger or Save Our Tigers project, which becomes important today when we look at these international big cats, uh, which are being protected and because of uh, this entire, uh, which is called IPCA, which is in International Big Cat Alliance, uh, it is a protection of conservation of seven major big cats, which includes uh, tigers, lions, leopard, new leopard, uh, puma, uh, jaguar, and cheetah, with uh, membership ranging from various, uh, you know, in various countries, they are seen as various species. And um, this visit of the Prime Minister, um, was preceded by a visit by, uh, you know, uh, 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 Environment Minister Bhupendra Yadav to really understand the terrain a little better and what is it that uh, will happen today. Uh, uh, because this is commemoration of 50 years of Project Tiger uh, and and uh, he will be uh, releasing publication as well, 
which is called Amrit Kal Kavijan for uh, Tiger Conservation, uh, which is, will be a summary report of the cycle of management, uh, effective evaluation of Tiger Reserve, um, and, uh, and, and what happens now onwards. Also, Maria, can you also uh, throw some light on the areas of concern as far as Project Tiger is concerned? Yes, uh, there will be a commemoration coin also that will be released today. And uh, India aims to sustain a viable tiger population uh, based on scientifically calculated carrying uh, capacity of habitat. Uh, the big challenge, of course, for India has been to ensure that uh, uh, that the area of which which uh, the tiger needs for its conservation is provided. Uh, there are challenges uh, uh, because you know uh, there have been uh, habitat challenges, particularly because that certainly is the biggest uh, threat to these big cats. Because there has been uh, almost like fragmentation and degradation of uh, the habitat for the big cats, uh, but. Um, Due to better technology and protection mechanism, uh, tiger poaching has been stopped significantly. But overall, uh, the uh, the focus certainly is that around there are uh, around 3,000 tigers in India, and more than 70% of the global uh, wild tiger population now is in India, and the number is increasing at a rate of 6% per year. And uh, it becomes important because. Uh, 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 there are uh, several, a uh, lot of people who get employment, as I pointed out, um, and and uh, that self-help groups, Tiger Mitra, all those uh, people will be interacting with the Prime Minister shortly. Right, Maria. We also have our correspondent Akshara with us. Akshara, what are the latest uh, updates of uh, Prime Minister's safari at uh, Bandipur Tiger Reserve? Well, the safari is still going on and Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with the forest officials and uh, uh, other officials are uh, still uh, taking a look at the tiger, uh, the Bandipur Tiger Reserve where he is taking a safari and once uh, this uh, this is uh, likely to, uh, his safari is likely to con conclude anytime soon. Once this uh, safari gets over, he will be taking part in the uh, three-day mega event uh, program that has been going to be launched today and also uh, unveil the 50 rupee coin commemoration of this project uh, tiger and uh, he will be releasing the census data recent census data of the tiger species uh, here. So these are the events lined up but right now as we are speaking these are uh, still taking part in the safari uh, in this uh, in the uh, attire which you have seen uh, no, uh, with the black cap and the camouflage plan. So with this uh, particular attire suit, uh, you know suiting to this particular safari is right now taking part in the safari once this gets over the line of events that are scheduled uh, will, will be taking place uh, and it will be uh, also launching this uh, particular uh, IPCA the International uh, Big Cats um, Alliance. Uh, project uh, it was, which was uh, you know initiated in the year uh, 2019 uh, so this is the major focus will be on this particular project as well and uh, as usual he'll also be speaking to the frontline field workers uh, who are involved uh, in this particular work of conservation of tiger species uh, and uh, many other programs are lined up uh, so these these events will be taking place uh, very shortly Akshra, after Bandipur uh, Tiger Reserve Prime Minister will be visiting Mudumalai Tiger Reserve what is he expected to do there Well, uh, here in Mudumalai, he'll be meeting uh, Boman and Belly, who featured in the uh, recent Oscar-winning uh, documentary *Elephant uh, Whisperers*. Uh, so he'll be talking to them. Uh, and uh, as we see, uh, a couple of days back, we also, you know, uh, start interacting with the media. Boman and Belly uh, were very happy with the fact that someone like Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting uh, uh, their habitat, their hamlet, and uh, he'll be he'll, he'll be uh, holding an interaction with these uh, uh, two individuals. He'll be facilitating them. Uh, once done, he'll also be listening to what Boman and Belly had to say recently Boman and Billy had said that uh, they are expecting certain developmental works and facilities in the in this particular region. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be paying heed to all these uh, uh, issues and and after the conversation once he listens to them uh, he also has said that he will be you know uh, trying to ensure that uh, their demands are met. So a, a key focus will be on that uh, they both Boman and Billy will be facilitated. Uh, so this particular event will be taking place here where in, the, in this particular hamlet near Mudumalai. Akshara, as you mentioned that uh, Prime Minister Modi is going to unveil the International Big Cat Alliance. Can you tell us more about that? 
uh, well this is furthering of the project uh, the uh, the projects which had been undertaken by the successive governments uh, in order to prevent tiger species so uh, this particular project calls for global leaders alliance uh, as the name rightly mentions international big cat alliance so it is not uh, uh, you know restricted to tigers uh, tiger species but uh, uh, it uh, furthers the, the species that are involved under this project uh, in order to ensure uh, these species are you know properly maintained and uh, prevent any ex extinction uh, if uh, they are facing any such dangers be it cheetahs leopards many other species eight species are uh, uh, taken into consideration in this particular project where global leader alliance uh, uh, of this uh, prime minister narendra modi has extended this project not just to uh, the in country india but uh, to the whole world and uh, specifically uh, focusing on asia where he calls for alliance of global leaders to ensure that uh, you know depletion of habitats of these species is taken care of and, uh, and also in order to bring a curb to this particular uh, illegal poaching that has been taken in place which has which is a bit of a headache when it comes to uh, conservation of tiger species and uh, other species as well so this is this particular project which was launched in 2019 initiative taken in 2019 will be executed and uh, prime, the focus will be on this particular uh, ipca as well all right akshara please stay with us we'll keep tracking this story for more updates as of now we have some breaking news that's coming in now ahead of the karnataka assembly elections voters in the mandya district protested over poor infrastructure and government's inaction voters alleged that there are no proper roads sewage facilities and other basic facilities the voters also urged the candidates to not visit them asking for votes so ahead of the karnataka assembly polls there is anger amongst the voters in karnataka our correspondent akshara is with us to give us more details akshara can you tell us why are the residents enraged and uh, they are even asking the candidates to not visit them uh, asking for votes well if you take a look at the recent uh, events events that have taken place here in karnataka this is not such a sole incident that has taken place here in mandya such poll boycott threats have been coming to the fore in many constituencies of karnataka this is the anti incumbency the congress also pointed out here right now in this particular region mandya district uh, many residents have put up uh, hoardings and banners uh, asking the um, mlas or the leaders not to come seeking votes uh, they are complaining that no particular developmental work was taking place there uh, they have also alleged that infrastructural facilities have not been provided to this particular constituencies so keeping these aspects in mind they are threatening of a poll boycott and put up uh, banners and also protested recently uh, and also not just in this particular mandya district in a, in constituency where arakagnanam the home minister uh, is a mla as well they even there there was a threat of poll boycott and citizens protested stating that no developmental work was taking place main aspect which they highlighted was the um, the condition the status of the roads or the other infrastructural facilities such as providing drinking water and uh, many such uh, issues they brought it to the fore and stating that this should have been rightly provided when the government was in power and it was not provided they, this is the allegation that has coming to the fore and now that elections are near the mlas and all uh, many other leaders are coming to their uh, visiting their constituencies villages seeking for votes uh, so uh, they are uh, highlighting the fact that work is not being carried out and now you are coming Uh, coming to a constituency seeking votes uh, so this is what the residents are highlighting and this is not re just restricted to the constituencies where bjp uh, is hold uh, bjp mla is holding power this is also uh, this has taken place in many other constituencies where congress mlas are also the sitting mlas of the particular constituencies there have been multiple incidences uh, where even ministers were garroted by uh, residents villagers when they came for election campaigning they garroted them and alleged that uh, uh, no developmental work has been taking place why are you even coming now in order seeking votes so this has taken place in both uh, uh, to the both mlas uh, of congress and the jds as well this is one uh, com bjp as well this is one such incident again which has come to the fore in the mandya district also akshara how do you think this is going to impact the bjp in the upcoming polls Uh, well you see you can get get to see uh, certain as you can see the poll bo poll boycott is taking place in many constituencies and the congress also highlighted that this is the anti incumbency that is taking place in karnataka keeping the uh, infrastructural aspects in mind uh, so many uh, th if this was the sole incident this could have been neglected by the bjp government keeping in mind the voter share but this has been taking place in multiple constituencies where uh, it has gone to an extent where voters are garroting the mlas ministers and uh, and uh, stating that they stating right. that no work has been carried out so they'll not they'll they'll be not uh, no voting for them all so right akshara 